So I'm going to click on submit form. This is going to initiate the workflow and I should be receiving a phone call soon. There you go. So let me go ahead and answer the phone. Hello? Hi, I'm speaking with Sivir Trabzada. Yeah, this is him. Who's this? Thanks, Sivir. This is Erica from AI Workshop AI Agency. You recently filled out a form about AI solutions, and I am reaching out to gather a few key details so we can connect you with the most suitable specialist for your business needs. To start, could you share where you currently are in the decision process? Are you looking to get started immediately, or are you still evaluating your options? Uh, yeah, I actually just filled that form. Yeah, I'm looking to start immediately. That's great to hear. Thanks for confirming the timeline. I also noticed you mentioned a budget of $5,000 to $10,000 in the form. Is that still accurate, or has anything changed since you submitted it? Uh, no, that's that's accurate. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. That helps us align you with the right specialist. To make scheduling easy, what day and time window works best for a follow-up call? For example, a range like 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on a specific day. Is yeah, let's do um, let's do uh, Tuesday, uh, September 30th between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Any time works between that time. Before I proceed, could you also confirm your email address so I can send the calendar invite and details? Uh, yeah, my email is jacksmith at gmail.com. Um, actually, you know what? Um, instead of, I don't want to book a meeting right now. Why don't you guys just send me the information and then I can sync up with you guys via email as well because I want to make sure I check a few things before I confirm or book an appointment. Absolutely, that works just fine. To make sure I send it to the right place, can I confirm the spelling of your email? Jacksmith at gmail.com? If yeah. that's not correct, please... Yeah, yeah, it's uh, J-A-C-K-S-M-I-T-H at gmail.com. If you can send me that information in that email, I can, uh, um, you know, follow up there because I have to leave in a, in a second. Got it. Jacksmith at gmail.com. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you I appreciate it. All right. So that was a voice AI agent that automatically calls uh, a customer as soon as they submit the form. As you saw, uh, as soon as I filled in this form, the AI agent, the voice AI agent, which is um, created with Telenex, immediately called that particular person. Of course, in this case, I put my phone number, my name, email address, and it's also the service. So that's why it was also able to detect the budget and everything else. And as you saw, all of it was uh, processed and everything was followed based on the instruction that was provided here. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to build this. And then on top of that, I'm also going to give you this NA10 uh, template completely for free. So uh, that way you can just follow along with me. Again, all of this will be available in the link in the description. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get this. So make sure you stick around because this will be super useful where you can build a voice agent like this uh, for a business or you can use it for your own personal use case to make sure you don't miss any leads when the customer is submitting a form from a website or in some kind of inquiry or ad as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, let me show you how to get this NADN template completely for free. And I'm going to go ahead and show you step by step uh, and walk through the different sections of Telenex and, and point out a few important things why Telenex is a big differentiator in the market when it comes to voice agents. And of course, these are all no code solutions. So let me go ahead and show you how to get this template so that way you can follow along. All right, so first things first, uh, make sure you head out to uh, and click on the link in the description. You're going to head out to the free community. This is my free community completely. You're going to come to the classroom section. You're going to go to the YouTube resources and you're going to scroll down to the bottom. It says Telenex voice agent. And then all you have to do is click on NA10 blueprint, download this. And once you download this, you can come back to NA10, click on these three dots, import from file and grab that file. And once you do that, you'll be able to essentially bring in this workflow completely for free into your own NADN instance. And then for those of you who don't have an NADN um, uh, account, go ahead and sign up for the free link in the description as well. So that way you can set this up. Now, let me go ahead and introduce the voice agent platform here at Telenix. Let me actually expand this and then we can go back to NADN and we're going to show you exactly what's going on. So this is Telenex. It's one of the most popular voice agent platforms when it comes to user-friendly global availability. So make sure you check out the link in the description as well. I also, since they've been kind enough to sponsor this video, I also have 
uh, coupons for first 500 members. There's $10 credit that they'll give you. So please make sure you sign up as soon as possible through that link so that way and add that coupon so that way you get your uh, uh, $10 uh, credit here. All right, so what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna use Telenex voice AI assistance, AI assistance, and I'm gonna show you how to build that. Uh, but let me go ahead and quickly uh, do a quick introduction of how this uh, on form submission, what happens and how this gets triggered. Uh, so first things first, obviously this is my AI assistant that I'm gonna talk about and go through exactly the different details. But essentially what's happening is once the form is submitted, and as you saw earlier, the form could be anything uh, uh, from a website, it could be a contact form, it could be any kind of lead submission, it could be any kind of uh, even ad, right? Because what you do, I'm just using any dense native forms, but you can use any form via the API and connection and uh, initiate this uh, workflow. So essentially what happens once the customer submits the form, what's going to happen is this workflow is going to get initiated. And then on the next step, the next node is this HTTP request node. So let's go ahead inside this node. And again, you'll have access to this. So you will, uh, when you download that workflow, all of this will come over. The only thing is you want to make sure you add your own API key. Of course, I'm going to remove mine after this and you want to make sure you're not sharing it with, with anyone. Uh, now, the great thing about um, Telenex is, as you saw, what's really nice here is like, I don't need to have a separate, uh, SIP trunk or any kind of phone API because Telenex gives me the numbers and calling that's kind of all built in together. And again, I'm going to show you how you can buy a phone number from there, but that's a really good thing when it comes to, um, uh, you know, Telenex having that platform to be able to uh, utilize all of those resources where you have the number and everything in the same space. You don't have to connect to an outer uh, third party. Of course you can, but this is just uh, the convenience of buying the number from there as well. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to reach out. What we're doing is we're reaching out to Telenex's API directly right here. This is going to be the assistant ID that I'm going to show you in a little bit on Telenex side. But what we're doing is we're sending a header, which is just authorization, bear, and your API key from Telenex that, like I said, I'm going to show that in a little bit. And we're sending this JSON body. And all of this is coming in from our Telenex documentation uh, that you can uh, obviously lead, read through because you can take a look at all the API calls. But essentially what's happening is I am grabbing uh, the uh, all of the information from the customer side is submitted via this form. So that's why you're seeing the two number. It's coming in from this right here, the phone number, and this is just the drag and drop. And then also uh, the name, the service, the budget, all of that is coming in from this form itself. And as you saw during the demo, the voice agent was able to actually even ask that question of, hey, is your budget still between five to $10,000? Of course, I'm using my AI agency as an example here, but this could be applied for anything. And I'm gonna show you how you can add this variable uh, that's dynamic variable on your Telenex site so that way your voice agent has the ability to have access to this. All right, so now let's head over to our um, our Telenex and then take a look at uh, the different details and how to, how to set up our voice assistant here. So that's kind of the initiation where a customer submits the form. We reach out to Telenex's API and we're connected to this particular agent. Now, the way to create agents in or voice agents in your Telenex is you can go to portal.telenex.com and this is where it's gonna bring you right here. One important thing is you wanna make sure you verify your identity. Now, that's like a quick process, uh, especially if you're in the US, that's required for all voice platforms, but they do a really good job. I think they partner with a third party. I went through it pretty quickly. Um, it was very easy to use, so make sure you do the verification process. And then afterwards, so the way to create an AI is Assistant is you're going to come to AI storage and compute right here. You're going to click on AI assistance. So now once you come here, now you can create a new assistant. Uh, I'm earlier, I was using the, this one and which we're going to take a look at, but essentially the best, the easiest way is to click on create new assistant. What this is going to do is this is going to pull up, um, either a template or you can completely start with blank. So there's multiple different templates that you can take a look at, um, like, you know, weather assistant, customer support, lead qualification, appointment setter, all of that good stuff. But you can click on blank workflow here and then you can go ahead and create your assistant. So once you click on your blank workflow, it's gonna bring in uh, this default right here. You can give it a name and then the model and then also the instructions. So now let me uh, head over to the one that I already created because otherwise it's gonna take a very long time if I were to do this step by step. Um, all right, so this is what I essentially did. So once I came and created my assistant, I gave it a name. The models, obviously you have op option 
uh, for different AI models, large language models that our talent X provides you. And there's a bunch of them here from Grok to OpenAI to DeepSeek to Meta and everything. I'm using uh, GPT-5. So in order to use a third party, um, model like OpenAI's and Grok and stuff like that, what you need to do is you need to add your API key here. So once you select your model, you're going to click on the plus button. You're going to go ahead and the secret value is basically your API key from your OpenAI in this case. And then you'll click save. Obviously you're given a name. I just gave it a voice a name voice. So that's why I'm selecting the API key here. All right. And the next step is given an instructions. So these are all the instructions. Basically, this is the universal prompt that you provide to your uh, customers there or so to your voice agent here. And as you saw during demo, the great thing was that um, you see how fast it replies, right? And the reply kind of comes back from your voice agent side and there's no awkward pause. It sounds really natural. Uh, but it sounds kind of like basically responding in real time or real voice. And that's because, again, it has really, Telenex has really low latency. So right here, you can see the voice latency. And this is depend, this also depends on which model you're selecting. So some, since I'm using GPT-5, I mean, the latency is 1350 milliseconds, which is very, very low. Like I said, it sounds very natural. And then also another Another, uh, another great thing is that the audio is very clear, as you saw during the demo, um, and that's because Telenex is running a wideband audio by default, so it makes it sound very natural and the audio sounds very crisp. So that's one of the big differentiations here uh, when it comes to Telenex versus other voice platforms. But anyway, so once you do the uh, go through the instructions, so the instructions are pretty simple. An identity, I give it an identity that, hey, you're Erica, an AI-powered voice assistant for AI Workshop AI Agency. Your role is to qualify leads after submitting a form, gather essential information regarding budget, timeline, specific needs, and ensure they're connected to the right specialist. So that's the goal and the identity of this voice uh, agent. Now, uh, another great thing is you can provide step-by-step -step instruction on how Erica or your voice assistant should follow when it comes to the guideline itself. So I'm literally giving, hey, am I speaking to name? Now, this is the dynamic variable that we saw from NADN that I was showing you earlier that's coming in. So that's another great thing about uh, Telenex is you can provide dynamic variable that you can send over. And then uh, afterwards, I'm just providing it all the step-by-step -step guide here. Now, you can go ahead and take a look at uh, the voice uh, um, instructions that I just copied. So you just copy and paste it so that we can take a look at it. Another great thing is the functions right here. So I have a couple of functions here, check schedule, uh, the reserve slot. So these are the functions right here, the tools that uh, give your uh, agents the ability to add additional tools to call from, right? And that's going to be done through our webhook. So the way to add that, you're going to click on tool, you're going to click on webhook, and this is where you can add a webhook. So the way what I've done is right here. So if I click on webhook here and edit this, as you can see, I have a check schedule uh, tool, right? And this is going directly to my NADN workflow. Obviously, I didn't test that because um, I was like, oh, I don't want to set an appointment right now. I wanted to send me an email so I can follow up. But essentially, this is the webhook that's coming in. So right here, if you see, uh, this is the webhook. It's called test, um, my app name and the test. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sending this parameter, uh, the information over. So that way it can check the schedule and then also book the appointment as well. So very simple to add. And it also has default um, um, tools as well. So like transfer or handoff that you can use. And another one is hang up. So that way your voice agent doesn't go on forever. So there's really useful tools that you can utilize. And then of course, MCP servers as well, if you want. So that's kind of the, the first main section of the uh, voice agent here. And then another great thing is because uh, all of this is on one stack. Now I don't have to pay or like troubleshoot across multiple vendors and it just makes it simpler, uh, simpler and usually uh, it makes it a lot cheaper this way, right? So that's the great thing that you can essentially use the same stack for everything. All right, so that's kind of the first agent section. And then afterwards, what we're doing is we can select the voice here. So I'm just using uh, the Telenex voice, but you can select additional one as well, like 11 Labs, Azure, AWS. The model, I'm using the Telenex uh, Natural uh, HD. And the voice, you can also select different voice that are available. Uh, they provide a ton of voices, so you can check out the different voices. And then also according to gender and language, you can adjust that too. Knowledge base, you can add a knowledge base so that way your voice agent is able to questions uh, answer any questions. And then insights and calling. So this is where you can uh, assign a number to this particular agent. And the way to grab 
uh, or uh, buy a number. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is come on real time communication and you're going to click on numbers. So I'm just going to click on numbers here and you can click on buy numbers. So this is going to open up a new page and this is where you can buy a number completely new or like I said, you also have the ability to uh, attach an existing uh, voice via SIP trunking. So this one, you can just click on search. You can take a look at the different area code, but but it, there's a bunch of different numbers that you can buy. You can even buy toll-free numbers if you want. Uh, I mean, it's only like a dollar a month and upfront $1, so it's $2 basically. Very, very simple, very easy. That's what I did. Essentially, I just bought a quick number here. And then when we uh, go to our assistant there, you just have to make sure that you're assigning that particular number. And this 1196, so 561, 1196. So this is the number that you saw that uh, came let me show you right here. Let me expand this a little bit. Yeah, this is the 1196 from number, which is basically the number from our voice agent that we put right here. So make sure that matches your uh, voice number there. All right, so that's kind of the calling section. The same thing, message. Obviously, I didn't use message, but messaging, but you can use uh, messaging here. You can enable it. There's like widget option and there's advanced. And then another important thing is the conversation history. So you can see right here, you can click on the conversation history, history and see exactly how the conversation went through. You can add dynamic webhook logs and metadata so that way you can see additional information. Now, another great thing is you can send this uh, co uh, conversation history via another API call to your NADN, for example, if you want to update any kind of CRM information or any additional information that you want to extract from the conversation between the voice agent and your customer, so that way you can uh, make improvements. So lots of great functionalities here, especially like I said, I really like this con uh, conversation history because like I said, you can do a lot with it after the conversation is done between the customer and the voice agent. All right, so that's kind of like the all the, the setup there entirely. You can also test your agents. You can call your assistant or receive a call from your assistant. Uh, so that way you can test it out before deploying it to production. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, check out the, like I said, the, the platform and I'm gonna put the link in the description. Make sure you check it out and take advantage of the pro promo code that they have provided. And like I said, if you're interested in learning more about voice agents, especially how to make money with voice agents and learn more, check out the community. We've got like, we have got lots of cores. We've got calendar section that you can jump in and, uh, you know, ask any questions if you get stuck. Or of course, like you can always ask us any question when it comes to integration or anything that you run into, whether, whether it's voice agents, or anything related to NADN. I'm going to put the link in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of great content coming up that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.